Welcome to another GM's Corner, uh, where we will be drawing some topic that uh, has been asked around our table or around your table. Um, we'll be drawing them out of the tome of topics. And so for this week, our topic of discussion. You should uh, that one. By the way, he's Alex. I'm Scott. I'm Dan. And I'm Tim. We don't know our names sometimes. <laughs> so the question this time is, um, is it okay to use higher level monsters in a game versus lower level players? So when is that okay? When the short it? answer is always. The long answer is longer. <laughs> <laughs> Which um, is sometimes. Yeah. I, mean, I think it's... For it to be successful, and by successful, I don't mean the players necessarily come out on top. I mean, everybody has a good time, and it is a creative story. Yeah. Uh, there has to be a level of trust between the players and the DM. Yeah, because you don't want to seem like you're just doing it to be a dickhead. Yeah, because okay. if you're not careful and you don't have that level of trust experience, um, it is going to come off as a DM versus the players. Yeah. And... And for me personally, I think the key is foreshadowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely foreshadowing. Because if if you drop hints that this thing is in the area, yeah, and they, they choose to keep going, yeah, then it's they did it. Yeah, right. <laughs> and if the, if the players feel like no, no, we made this decision fully knowing what was coming, and it was just as bad as we expected to be, if not worse, then that's their own dang fault. Yeah. And, and, and then in which case, that can fun. be a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 Um, they went in looking after the treasure or whatever. <laughs> you know, and I mean, I've made no qualms about it on the show. As a DM, I don't populate the world with CR appropriate. I populate yeah. the world. And yeah. if you choose to go to the dragon at first level, well, then <laughs> you didn't problem. like your character and wanted to roll a new one anyway. <laughs> use, use the more, more the Morrowind point of view than the like Skyrim. Correct. Or follow in new yeah. follows. Yeah. Um, I think the other side of that coin is not every encounter is a combat encounter. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Which I'm also a huge proponent of. Yeah. It can be a lot of fun when the giant wanders into their campsite and uh, gives them a what for, interrogates them, and then leaves. Yep. Um, and if Thanks, they choose to chase. attack, then well, that was, that the dice are going to fall where they may. Yeah. Um, Other things you could do is you could um, give the players a way to win the fight. Maybe have helped like you did last night. Have Give us a way to win the fight with help from NPCs. We're fighting a horde of giants. Well, some of them are on your side. Oh, okay. That makes it a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's part of the non-combat part of things is that, you know, are you taking the time to try to use some of the options available to you? Yeah, because, I mean, you guys could have gone through there, not freed the, the giantess, the, the, his daughter, and yeah. just went about it. You could have not attacked the sleeping giant. And, yeah, that was so satisfying. <laughs> Getting that final critical hit right into his eye, pop in the eye. Um, but yeah, so having having uh, other NPCs that can help out, or keeping a Deus Ex Machina in your back pocket yeah. mm -hmm. if you need it. And that the, the the downside. So the downsides of running higher level monsters. And we were talking about possible ways you can do it. But some of the downsides of higher level monsters is it gets it can get to the point where their AC is kind of too high to hit. I mean, yeah. they do that less in this edition, I think, than they have in previous editions yeah. with the bounded accuracy. But you can have a thing where like the players can only hit on like a maybe 18, 19, or 20. And it's like they just sit there and roll dice and nothing yeah. happens. And the monster hits every single time, even if it rolls a two. Yeah. And it one shots every player it hits. And it's like this isn't this isn't well, interesting. After the first, maybe second player goes down in that fight, they should be trying to run. They should be, you know, trying to get out of there run and not or continuing. Yes. Um, 
Yeah. That okay. that goes to as much to the player's utility as the DM's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, now, to be fair, we had a in the Sunday night game had an instance where my character wanted to run, should have run, but because no one else did, mm-hmm. stuck around. Stuck around because he didn't want to leave his friends and yeah. ended up. And that that happened. And they all so could have often. gotten away. They all could have gotten away. If and they would have ran when you said, "Let's run." If they had, yeah, if they had followed the plan when I threw Tim's character on the horse, got it out of there, made the distraction for the other one to leave, if he had left, we would have been good. We would have gotten out of it. <laughs> but the best played plans of mice and men. That wasn't my fault. No, it totally, I'm not blaming you. I'm saying. <laughs> I, I did everything I was supposed to and tried to get us out of there. I was providing the distraction as well. Um, yeah. And that didn't uh, exactly work out. Was it was it Andy that decided to stick around? Yes, he was playing another one of his crazy characters. <laughs> this one wanted to kill all. I think it was unicorns. This time. No, the, yeah, yeah no, it was he, unicorns he, this time. He had through RP. He got a beef with a unicorn, and it was his mission to kill that unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> now, mind you, we were third level. Yes. What level are unicorns, CR wise? Eight. Yeah, I think. I mean, that's within the realm of possibility if that was the only enemy you were facing. <laughs> There's just... three third level, not even a full third level oh, party. Yeah, yeah, that makes it a lot harder. Yeah. And one of us, me, was a deep known wizard <laughs> who was not very good on the hit points. Yeah. Third level, I, I think, think I had still in the level. single digits. No, I, I think I was, had, third level had just crested me above the single digits. Nice. Nice. Negative con. Yeah, that. that no, he no. just had a zero con. Mm-hmm. So it was just the, it was just poor rolls. Yeah. Six at first level, and then uh, go from there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, offering allies having a way out. Um, and also just that. Not every monster, not every encounter that is a combat encounter is the monster looking to kill everyone outright. Yeah. Um, so you also have to keep that in mind because maybe the dragon or the devil um, only wants to get out and he'll kill anything that gets in his way or her way so long as they can get out. Or get what they came for. So if the dragon come to this town because it knows that uh, someone brought back a magical shield that it's wanted for 50 years. Uh, Give them the shield. Yeah, it's getting that shield. Live to fight and another day and try to get it back later, maybe. The, these, these puny hum- humanoids can either fight and die trying to protect the stupid thing, or they can get out of your way and give it to you. Mm-hmm. Another option is... Uh... Perhaps the dragon or the devil wants someone to owe it a favor to cash in on later. Oh, well, okay. I, I've suddenly beat you. You know you can't win this. Yep. I'll let you go on and do your own thing, but I'm going to call in a chip one of these days. Yeah. I'm giving you your life. That's even so more interesting. Me. That's yeah. an even more interesting. I mean, that's a huge plot twist and to play around with. Plot like, hook. Plot hook. They're, they're just constantly dreading the day that dragon shows up and says, I'm calling in my favor. Yeah. Much it could like, be any time. Uh, in early critical role, Tiberius gave uh, part of his soul pre game and they were waiting for it. Mm, they yeah. mentioned it and they were waiting mm. for it to come back. It's uh, too bad that never happened. You know. Or maybe it did, and that's why he left the show. <laughs> uh, actually, Vox Machina's tour through uh, okay. the City of Brass and Dis yeah. had a lot of that in there, mm. where they know if they step out of line, they're all dead. Yeah. Um, so they had to pick and choose when they were going to do stuff um and yeah that's a perfect like that's a great example because probably half the stuff in there in the city of brass and dis they could have fought because mm. city of brass they were 15th 
to 18th level, I think. I think so. And yeah, this, they, they were the... 17 or 18. So it's possible that they could have fought those demons and... Just and worked their way through them. But it's a whole city of them. And, you know, one or two is a hard fight yeah. for them. So... Like the pit fiend fight when they were when they jumped him, uh, was sort of a taste of things to come. Like if they hadn't, if it hadn't been a pit fiend that they were fighting, would the city of Dis gone the same way? Because right. I think largely their experience there was colored by that fight with the pit fiend. Yeah. And how difficult it was. Mm. Yeah. And Scanlan saved their lives by modifying memory on that ifrit, because otherwise. They would have had the whole city of brass <laughs> after them. Yeah, that's the fun. Nice. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, we got sidetracked a bit there. Yeah. Or a lot. Well, I mean, it's 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 kind of still relevant talking about yeah. when you have higher level enemies around, and I guess especially with a new group of players, if they're used to certain types of games whether that be role play or just like video games then it might take a moment to go okay guys hold on stop 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 let's talk for a second and yeah. just have that conversation with them saying look guys this is a real living world that we're playing in here yeah i mean think about books and movies and such you've read when the giant dragon shows up or the giant giant shows up and you have the conversation with the titan yeah because you know beyond all shadow of a doubt it will just crush all of you in one swing. Yeah. So let's let's think about it that from that point of view. If you guys attack this, you can. You will almost guaranteed die, and you know that. Yeah. Like your characters know that. It's not attacking you right now. Maybe you can just talk it down. Yeah. yeah. Well, so yeah. Uh... If, you, if we missed anything, or you have any other suggestions, comment below. If you have any questions, comment those. We'll add them to the tone, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.